Hey there. It's Jerome Shaw signing in. Wanted to check in with you with an update. The liquidarian journey has been thoroughly upgraded. <laughs> wow. Who knew we could go this far? Perhaps you can look at the first video I posted here and you will notice the change that has happened. Even last year, uh, just a dramatic change in my life. It feels so good to know that the things people think are impossible don't have to be. The things people think cannot be done can be done. It's like Helen Keller said, while they were saying amongst themselves it cannot be done, it was done. That's how I feel. Been here doing some sun gazing at the Central Library in downtown Los Angeles. And we are just enjoying ourselves. Came out of the Breatharian Retreat. I talked about it in my podcast. Of course, the podcast, The Open Palm. But the Breatharian Retreat was awesome. And we've made so many discoveries, so many. Any questions you have, leave them below, comment below if you have any questions. I'd love to answer anything and everything that you'd like to know about this journey as it's been for me. As far as I know, there are about around 90,000 Breatharians in the world out of a population of what, like 8 billion? So we say, <laughs> there's supposedly 8 billion people walking and talking around here. People are born, people pass away every day, but only 90,000 Breatharians. So project that into the future. Think 30 to 50 years from now, how much percentage of the population do you think will be Breatharian? You know, we already have vegans and raw vegans and vegetarians, even fruitita uh, fruitarians and liquidarians, right? That was the path I was going on, which I'm still consuming liquid every now and then, but now on a much, much less scale. I find that I need things a lot less. It's like Audra Bear says, shout out to Audra Bear, the more we breathe, the less we need. The breath makes space. It fills us up and the less we need of outside substances. The more I take in this sun, the more I increase the light within me. The more I breathe, it's like Akahi and Camilla, the method of the dynamo. Breathing, breathing, that circular breathing. It's been charging me up, charging me right up, energizing me. I love it. So I'll put some pictures up here to show you the initiation was wonderful. Had a wonderful time. Got some great teachings. Met some great friends, community of people who are also on this path, on this journey. And I want to spread it. You know, I want to be one of the pioneers, one of the, the now 90,000, the unheard of folks, the people that no one knows exists. Right? Just here. 
I want to be one of those people that uplifts other people's lives and proves that certain things are possible. You know? It's like I'm attracted to the light. I gotta stay in the light. <laughs> I love being in the sun. This has been a wonderful journey and it's only just begun. It's only just beginning. I can't thank you enough for being a part of it. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me, for walking this journey with me, or just listening, listening to me talk. Any questions that you might have, just comment them below and I'd love to answer because I've undergone some changes. My body has undergone some major, major, major changes. And uh, I'm not the same person. It, but it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, but I'm not the same. And I know I'm not the same. So beautiful. So much wonder, so much splendor around us. So many reasons to be thankful, to be grateful to be happy, to be at peace. So many. I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, y'all. I'm buzzing with energy. It feels, it just feels good, it feels blissful. I wanna share it. I wanna pass this flame, this torch on to someone else to let them know that other ways of living is possible. This is not about eating or not eating, right? Don't get it twisted. I'm not, we're not here to put down people who eat. We're only here to say that other ways of living are possible, that we don't have to derive all of our nourishment from what we thought. It's about opening another energy channel, opening, making space, making room to allow light to come in, source, energy, prana, chi. May the force be with you. Subscribe if you are not already. I'm gonna be doing more talks as I continue to learn about this way of life, I'm saturating my mind each and every day with the likes of Ray Mayor, Jazz Muheen, of course, Elitam El Amin, different people who are on this path and who've been on this path for years, doing different retreats. One thing I can say is that there are many mind games. Your mind is gonna play some games on you. It's going to make you think that things are one way when they're quite another. And you have to be strong enough to withstand. You have to be strong enough to say, I stand firm on my decision. I stand firm on this way. I stand firm on the path. But be kind to yourself. Reward yourself. But understand that if you go along this path, it does have a cost. For me, I'm realizing that each and every day now that this path has a cost and it's all about how you look at it. You can look at it as a tragedy or a wonderful gift, a wonderful blessing. And I choose to look at this as a blessing. So thank you for listening. Subscribe if you are not already and drop a comment anything that you would like to know, to learn. I'll do my best to answer your questions, but this is a journey. This has been the process. We're still shining. Take care.